This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 3. And it reads, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the door shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Call alayim, ala hayanawa, yahawa, bahashem, yahawa shai, bahashem raka kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach on Ruwa, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. Wam. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. Now I just wanted to, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, touch on this. This article came out on a Zero Hedge this morning, May May 19, 2022, the year of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai turning up. And now the title here, Soaring Fuel Prices Leave Owner Operators with Tough Choices, right? I'm not going to read the whole article, it's a long read. Long read. But uh, what I wanted to touch on was Right, it says here, owner operators are left with tough choices. So owners who own their own rig, right, operate their own rig. They might be a mom and top, mom and pop shop, right? They're met, they're met with tough, tough, tough choices. And what are their choices? I just wanted to read this this paragraph right here. The triple whammy of flattening demand. Lower spot rates and spiking fuel prices, right? Triple whammy, triple, triple whammy, flattening demand. There's no work. Lower spot spot rates, you know, cutthroat, low prices. Everyone's everyone everyone's undercutting one another, right? And spiking fuel prices, the diesel, means that owner operators face a challenge not experienced since 2014, the last time American oil prices as measured by the West Texas Intermediate Energy Complex, breached the $100 a barrel level. Drivers have four options. And what are they? Go on a carrier's payroll and avoid the fuel mess. Negotiate leased driver arrangements that include fuel surcharge, pass-throughs. Tough it out in the hope that oil prices quickly turn south or exit the business. Right? And this is happening on all fronts. Okay? This is happening on all fronts. And it's just going to continue to spread from industry to industry. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 3, and it reads, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And who are the keepers of the house? These financial forecasters. The, these, these portfolio managers. Bankers. And the strong men shall bow themselves. And the grinders cease because there are few, right? The grinders cease because there are few. Few workers, few jobs. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, right? And those that are looking, forecasting, what does the future hold? What does the next quarter hold? What does quarter two hold? What does quarter three hold? What are the earnings going to be, right? Be darkened, right? It doesn't look bright, right? With all the smoke and mirrors, it doesn't look bright. Uh, this article came out. Under Armour CEO unexpectedly steps down, receives $7.1 million in severance. Under Armour CEO exit, worry, exit worries Wall Street investors. You see that? And we just read where the, where the keepers of the house shall tremble. Right? Under Armour CEO's exit worries Wall Street investors. News of Under Armour Inc. CEO Patrick Frist unexpected departure in June battered the company's stock on Thursday, right? And this came out this morning. And caused one of Wall Street's largest investment banks to cast doubt on the Baltimore company's three-year quest to turn itself around, right? So this company has been going through troubles for three years. And it's a major brand. Under Armour? Under Armour stock plunged more than 11% in late morning trading, putting the share price at about $9.44. The stock, the stock slide began May 6th 
after Under Armour reported earnings that failed to meet analyst expectations, right? There we go again. The keepers of the house shall tremble, right? The analysts, the stock, the portfolio holders, the, 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 the stock, stock market watchers, the traders, the banks, and was only made worse with Wednesday's disclosure that Frisk will step down on June 1st. Colin Brown, the company's chief operating officer, will take over as interim president and CEO while the Under Armour board works to identify a permanent replacement. Morgan Stanley said Frisk's exit pre-COVID challenges, Salak said that word, at the company and the disappointing earnings in the first quarter prompted a downgrade from an overweight to equal weight rating. Overweight means the analyst thinks the stock will perform well in the future. Underweight means just the opposite. And the equal weight takes the middle ground, pointing out both bear and bull possibilities, right? So we're seeing, I read somewhere else that the stock over the last 12 months plunged 52%. I read it earlier. I, I don't think it's in this article, right? That's a big time plunge. Right? The day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Right? Companies closing up. Companies going under. Belly up. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Right? Those looking for jobs. And the daughters of music shall be brought low. Right? Music. The, the, the music industry is, is, is in a shambles. And it's going to continue to get worse, man. We remember during the time of the Emic, they were uh, a lot of entertainers are posting on uh, uh, Insta live feeds, and they're going through it, man. Right, and they continue to go through it. The industry's in a shambles, right? Babylon has been a golden cup, and 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 it's going to wax worse and worse. America the Great, Babylon the Great, is being attacked on all fronts. Jeremiah 51 verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Right? We're seeing her. We're seeing the demise. We're seeing the, the piece by piece dismantling of America the Great. Howl for her. What does that mean? Howl, lament, lament mourn. Put dust of sack, dust and sackcloth on you. Right? Because there's no bouncing back. Take bomb for a pain. Bomb. Healing, healing ointment. Right? Take bomb for her pain. What's her pain? All these woes in the financial financial district, right? The commodities district, right? We're seeing we're we're, we're seeing rumors of uh, uh uh we're seeing food shortages for shortages manifest. We're seeing the diesel prices go through the roof. We're seeing big brand companies trickle a slow death. All right? And what's the bomb? Bailouts. Stimulus packages. If so be, she may be healed. Right. And she's not going to be healed. It says, if so be, she may be healed. Meaning, if if, uh, if, if the bomb, which is these bailouts and, 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 and stimulus packages and, and, and relief from, the, from, from, from Daddy Esau, right? You two-thirds out there. Vain help. Right? If it would work, she would be healed. It's not going to work. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, America, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right, and ultimately, what is the judgment going to be? Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right, but she's going to be dismantled. She's going to be, she's going to be ruined. She's circling the drain. And, it's, and, and this is only the beginning. This is only the tip of the iceberg. What does scripture say? Beginning of sorrows. These be the beginning of sorrows. It's going to wax worse. Shalom.